Hello, fourth graders. Today I want to talk about some more decimals and fractions. We are going to work with mixed numbers, which is a whole number and a fraction or a decimal. The first thing I want to review is if we have 2 plus 1 tenth, that's going to equal 2 and 1 tenth, written like that, 2 and 1 tenth. We can write it in a decimal because we know that 1 tenth equals 0.1. So 2 plus 0.1 equals 2.1, which we read as 2 and 1 tenth. So they're the same thing, 2 and 1 tenth, 2 and 1 tenth. So when you have a whole number, you're going to put it in front of the decimal point and the number that comes after will stay after the decimal point. We can show this with an area model. Here we have three whole squares and they're broken up into 10 parts each. If we want to color in two and one tenth, we would color in two holes, one, two. That's two holes, and then this is 10 parts, and we want to color in one tenth. And there we have two, one, two, and one tenth. Two and one tenth, two and one tenth. They're all the same thing. Now, how many more tenths do we need to make three? We can use our area model. When you look here at the area model, how many more tenths do we need to color in to have three colored? Well, we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more to color in. To make three. Two and one tenth plus nine tenths equals three. We can also write it as a fraction. We have Two and one tenth plus nine tenths <clears throat> equals two and ten tenths. And we know that ten tenths is one. So it's two and one, which makes three. Now, let's do a couple more mixed numbers. Three plus seven tenths equals. 3 plus 7 tenths is going to be 3 and 7 tenths. To write it as a decimal, we write 3 plus 0.7 equals 3.7. 3 plus 0.7 equals 3.7. You see how that works? This will help you on your Zern assignment, and I'll also have a short quiz on it for you on my website. Take care, and I hope to see you soon.